Chris out and about in Bishopsfield and Harlow. Any yeah. issues on the doorstep that you're hearing? Yeah, a lot of interest actually in the election, which is really heartening. A lot of people very concerned about what the future is for Harlow, thinking about themselves, their kids. A lot of people wanting to hear arguments, which I think is good, um, but also a lot of interest, which is really in, in positive. It's all getting very tight, and yeah. time is you know time is closing down now, and even Parliament will be closing down in it a few be. weeks. Um, how do you? Th- not what your unique selling point is, but what is we think you might give you the edge? I think there's a recognition that there's a choice we made between a political party that sees the potential in everyone and a political party that's willing to see whatever happen happen. And that's what we've seen over the last five years. You know, if you were in a company and your finance director came to you three, four years in a row, having got their sums wrong, asking you to cough up more money, you'd sack him. Well, that's what George Osborne has done. The consequences of that failure we see in a lot of communities like this in Harlow, where people are living on low wages, struggling to get by, worried about their families, worried about the debts they're getting into as a result of some of those choices the government has made. And asking who's going to help us fix it. Well, my answer to that is Labour. It probably doesn't affect you in Walthamstow, but areas like Thurrock, with Polly Billington to China, with things like UKIP, and, and Harlow's had a bit of UKIP presence. Can you understand why they've become popular? Well, what I see with UKIP is they want to tell people that things are really tough and give them someone to blame. I don't think that's good enough. I went into politics not just to be angry, but to give people answers, to come up with how we can solve issues like the legal loan sharks who are preying on people, how, yes, we can tackle online harassment, how, yes, actually, we can make child poverty history in this country. You know, people ask me sometimes what difference Labour governments make. I tell them this. In 2010, if the Labour government had done nothing, child poverty in this country would have been 4 million. Because of what the Labour government did, it was 2.5 million. Because we got people into work, decent pay, work. In the last couple of years that trend has reversed and now people are telling us that child poverty is going to go up 50%. Not because people aren't in jobs but they're in poorly paid jobs and in communities like this the pay that you get in your pocket makes all the difference. What we want to do is make sure people can get decently paid work. They're not being ripped off by legal loan sharks that actually they can keep a roof over their family's head and it's people like Susie and people like Polly who I know share that determination that I do that poverty just makes it harder for people to succeed. If we make it easier for people to succeed they do amazing things. We talk about the payday loans. Mm. As, as, as a journalist, one of the hardest areas to try and get people to talk to, I, I have found, more than, more than abuse, is whether you're at the behest of payday loans. Yeah. Do you feel you've made, do you feel really you've made progress? Oh, we've made progress, but there's a lot more to do. Wages are going up, oh, sorry, debt is going up three times faster than household wages. A lot of people are now in debt because of debt repayments. That's not by accident. If you look at the government's figures, the only way they can get the economy to recover is for people in communities like this to borrow more. We have to change that cycle. Payday loan companies have been preying on people in this country for too long, and it took too long to get this government to realise we could do something about it. But we're not finished in the Labour Party. We need to deal with logbook loans. We need to deal with debt management companies. We need to feel the fact that it's very difficult for people to get affordable credit in this country. That's why we've got plans to reform the banking system, to make sure that people have a fair chance to get their banking informed. Stella Creasy, thank you very much.